Welcome back to Ozark's Ozark Fox AM. It's so good to see our friend Rachel Fair, who is back on the show. We saw you around Thanksgiving time, didn't we? That's right, yeah. Last time. Some Thanksgiving Christmas dinners. Yes, which, well, the twist so was she was making us vegan mm. Thanksgiving Christmas dishes, which we were so impressed with, and the whole station was because we ate everything you brought. <laughs> yeah, and she you brought guys a lot of food. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So today, vegan donuts. Vegan donuts. They are hard to come by. They're a little hard to make, but mm -hmm. with a little bit of practice, you can make them at home. Um, and I also make them for my pop-ups. It's just a lot of fun. Um, so if we can go ahead and yes, get started. Yes, of course. All right. So first things first, we take a little bit of flour. Okay. All right. Some baking powder. Now this is really important in vegan cooking. This is egg replacer. So donuts typically have a lot of butter, mm -hmm. eggs, milk. And we change all that up when we do vegan cooking. And this is an egg replacer. There's lots of different brands. You can get them at the health food markets. Um, but it just gives it kind of that binding and a little bit of lift to help okay. it raise and be fluffy. Now, what is that? It's called egg replacer. Oh, it is. That's okay. the name? Oh, okay. okay. I didn't There's know that. There's lots of different brands, and you can get them at different stores. But this one's the energy egg replacer. It's what okay. I use most of my oh, baking. Good. Salt. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, everybody knows that donuts kind of have this donut-y flavor that tastes different than bread, different than cake. The key ingredient in and that is nutmeg. Are you kidding? Yeah, I have what? no I idea. Nutmeg gives it kind of just that donutty taste. All right, we got sugar. For vegan baking, you have to use organic sugar. So we've got some organic plain cane sugar here. Okay. And then we whisk all that up. Mm -hmm. Can I to be honest with you, Kelly? Yes. I didn't even know that donuts weren't vegan because I didn't know what went into making a donut. Uh, I didn't yeah. either. Lots so when eggs. we heard that, we were like, oh, what's she going to do that's different? Well, and we, my family travel a lot, and we love donuts, and they're really, really hard to come by. Mm -hmm. They really are. In St. Louis, I think they only have a couple bakeries that offer vegan donuts, mm -hmm. not a donut shop. Right. Um, Chicago has, I think, one or two full vegan donut shops, so they're, you have to travel to get these. Yeah. Yeah. So what is that? Okay, so now I've added some vanilla. I added soy milk, soy. All right, which is a really good substitute. It's nice and creamy. And just a tiny bit of vegetable oil. Now, the important thing with donuts is you don't want to overmix it. You want to just kind of gently stir it so that it kind of starts to come together because if you overmix it, then they get kind of chewy and they're not really tasty. All right, oh. so you mix it up. Get it all going here. It smells and so it, good. I can smell it from here. You can yeah. smell the nutmeg, oh, yeah. I bet. Yes. Yeah. And who knew it was nutmeg? I had no idea. I know. Everybody thinks of nutmeg just like on top of your eggnog yeah. at Christmas time, but nope, it's what makes donuts donutty. It's awesome. All right. That's so crazy. So you, to get, me. you get a loose dough, and then you come over to a floured surface. Okay. All right, just a little bit of flour on here. You turn out your dough. I'm going to move this so the camera can see what you're doing. All right. Then you give your dough a little bit of kneading. Again, you don't want to overwork donut dough because then it gets really tough and chewy. So you get How do you kind know of when you're dough. so you just just rather, you'd rather do it under than over, correct? That's right. Okay, I'd that's probably right. do it yeah. over. Yeah. To get it nice and tender, you want a, a just kind of a loose shaggy dough. That's okay. what they call it. Okay. Then you're going to roll it out. All right, you roll out your dough. Maybe a little bit more flour. More flour. Yep. Mm -hmm. A little bit more flour. Love your rolling pin. It's nice and long. That, yeah, that covers yeah, yeah. A, a nice surface area. It does. And then what you do is you get it to about a half inch. Mm -hmm. All right. About a half inch. I'm just going to do a portion of it. Okay. No Move, problem. You know, television magic. Okay. Yeah, magic that's TV. Exactly. And you go ahead and you get a donut cutter. Wait, that's actual real thing? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? I know. Well, <laughs> this is this is nice. I mean, we don't normally bake donuts. No. Yeah. And I would not know that that was an actual, like, it looks like a cookie cutter. It does. But it's a donut cutter. Or an apple cutter. Yeah. Now, <laughs> yeah. Or, now baked donuts are kind of all the thing, okay. but if you ask me, a baked donut is a cake. And so oh. we like our donuts fried, all right? I know it's not the most healthy, and vegan people usually claim to be healthy, but not so. <laughs> You just engage under the bus. What you need? Uh, so after we fry these up, then we what you want? top them with some frosting. We've got strawberry frosting here to make the Homer Simpson donut. We've got some chocolate frosting here to make the classic cake okay. with chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then these are lemon meringues. Oh. You just fry Ooh. them for a little while, top them with your toppings, and then enjoy. How long do you cook them? Um, usually about a minute on each side uh -huh. if your oil is nice That's and hot. Pretty. Try to keep your oil hotter than cooler right. um, because the oh, cooler that your oil is, yes, the uh, greasier the oh, they get. So you really want a nice okay, hot that. oil, all right? And then you can just flip it a couple times mm -hmm. and let that puppy go. And then you drain it on some paper towels. And then once it's cooled enough, you top it with your frosting and your sprinkles. Okay. Now, could you also pop in the middle to make donut holes? Of course. Uh, of course. Good idea. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, waste not, why, why not? Why exactly. waste it? Exactly. Don't waste any of it. That is so great. I'm yep. fascinated by this, though, because I, 
I'm nervous about egg cooking with oil, and I've never even attempted to make donuts. Oh, no. Never. No. It's really not that hard. The oil's got to be really hot, which moving yes. it out here, it kind of cooled yeah, down. Yeah, it cooled down a little so, bit. Yeah. But, um, you know, they do fluff up. You have to be careful. Oil, you know, is dangerous to cook yes. with, but you want to make sure that you have a nice, stable surface. Don't mm -hmm. overfill past the fill line. Right. I also have a fryer that I sometimes use if I'm going to be doing large batches. Okay. Um, it's a little bit harder to do the donuts, and I like a skillet this size because you can usually fit about six or so mm -hmm. across um, and then have them go in in batches. You Usually a recipe like this will make about a dozen donuts, okay. um, and then you know with the with the lemon uh, poppy seed, can I just try it? it. Yeah, yeah. Can we try? I want lemon Here, definitely. Let's have, Let's a, little have a little bit. Of bit. Of this. Yes. Okay. So I made these last night, so they're mm. not as delicious as a brand new fresh donut, but they're but still the pretty good. But the flavor is so mm. good. Yeah. What did you use for the lemon? So I zest the lemon, and I put a little bit of lemon zest in the dough batter when I'm mixing it up, and I also put some poppy seeds in there, and then when they're done cooking, I top it with a lemon zest glaze on the top, so just a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of lemon zest, and then just a vanilla glaze. Top it on there. Those are so good, and the mm -hmm. poppy seeds are delicious. Sprinkle some poppy seeds on. Um, but my favorite is the Homer Simpson. You guys got to give okay, that one a try. Can you break off some of that? Because I, I feel like I need to try all of them mm -hmm. just to see the difference. Yep. Now, there's a couple different kinds of donuts that you can make. These are traditional cake donuts. You can also make yeast donuts. Those are the ones that you allow to rise, and you can make those vegan as well. Just substitute the milk out for a milk alternative like almond or soy. Um, now, some of them call for butter. Sometimes I use vegan butter. Mm -hmm. And then another donut that I love making are those old fashioned sour cream. And believe oh. it or not, you can get vegan sour cream at the stores here in Springfield, and it makes the most Perfect old fashioned donuts. That is fantastic. Mm -hmm. That sounds mm -hmm. great. Okay, I didn't try that. That one. is so, I'm sorry, I was eating. <laughs> I love the strawberry. The yeah. flavor is delicious. Just, just a little hint of strawberry and then those fun I'm tasting the icing by itself because I want to. jimmies. These are really, really delicious. You what, like? what oil do you prefer to fry in? Um, I prefer canola oil. You really want to get something light. Vegetable oil can sometimes be a little bit heavy. Um, so, canola is good for frying. I use yes. it for frying donuts, frying tofu, frying yes. vegetables for tempura. Yes. Yep. This is so great. Yeah. So delicious. Sorry your oil got cooled off a little bit, but this That's is right. working great. And these get, are so, so yep. It's still delicious. frying. Yeah. It's still frying. Okay. I'm going to break off some of the chocolate, okay. too. <laughs> you try the chocolate? I'm going to try a little bit of chocolate. Okay, I'm going to have to talk, so I'm going to have to wait on okay. the chocolate. Okay. I'm going to bite, too. Yes, of course. All right. Thank you so much for being here today. And she's going to play birthdays with us. Oh, she's going to play yeah. birthdays. Well, All right.